Hi, seventh graders. Welcome to your second book talk of the year. I'm excited to be talking to you about some great books in our library and getting you set, especially with us in distance learning now, because we want you to be finding some good things that you can be reading even from home. First thing is just to remind you how you can get a book from the library even when you are at home learning. Uh, the first way is to place books on hold and that is using that Destiny Discover Library Catalog. You can go to the Valley Middle School homepage and go to the Academics tab up at the top, select Library Media Center, and then go to the first button which is the Destiny Discover Library Catalog. From there, any books that you find uh, that look good to you, you'll be able to place a hold on them by first logging in using your student ID and CoLab password. After you place the book on hold, you just wait. Uh, you'll get a Schoology message either from me or Mrs. Kump then that tells you when the books are ready to pick up. And the books are going to be available now um, every day that you are learning on a cart outside the main office in that vestibule. There will be some more information coming to you about that, and uh, you'll get that message, uh, like I said, in Schoology when your books are ready. So we would provide you all the information that you need uh, in terms of coming to pick up that book. The other way that you can get books uh, from our library is to use the Mac and Via app. It's what you see here on the page, but it's also downloaded to your iPad, and you can use that for ebooks and audiobooks that we have in our district. We're trying to make it a little easier for you to find good books to read and do some shopping, especially when um, you know we aren't doing book talks in the classrooms right now. And just if you're sitting at home thinking uh, that you would like to find something new to read, we're changing out this top banner on the catalog every couple weeks to give you something new to be looking at. And uh, right before the presidential election, we had this banner about elections and voting with some different titles related to that topic. I'm going to click on our uh, link here to bring us into the catalog and show you that we've now changed it to something different. And again, we'll be changing this every couple weeks uh, to give you something fresh to look at. <clears throat> Excuse me, we were thinking about the fact that now that you're going to be home and on Zoom quite a bit, maybe the books you're looking for would be books that could give you a break from looking at screens all the time. So uh, Mrs. Kump loaded up for us here some great books that are uh, about hands-on kinds of things, whether it's cooking or crafts or building. And so you can scroll through these and see some of the terrific books that we have for that kind of thing. If you decided that you wanted to check out one of these books, you could again just log in up here using your ID and password. And then once you click on a book, it will give you the, bo uh, the button that says hold. After you've plus, pressed on that button, then you just wait to get the message on Schoology saying it's ready for you to pick up. Other ways to do some shopping for books below the topic buttons here. We have the collections, and we're continuing to add to that all the time as well. Uh, our newest one right now is the Animal Lovers Collection. This consists of lots of titles, fiction and nonfiction. For those of you that like dogs, animals, uh, cats, birds, everything in between, I guess. And again, this could be fiction and nonfiction. But if you're an animal lover of any sort, you might want to take a look at the 87 different books that fall under that category. Well, let's talk about some new books to add to your reading list today. The first one I wanted to share is from The Misadventures of Max Crumbly. This is book number one, Locker Hero. This is the same author as the Dork Diaries series. So if you've read that series or know of that one, uh, Rachel Russell wrote that one. And uh, this has the same kind of humor, um, almost that graphic novel style, you know, sort of Diary of a Wimpy Kid kind of a feel as well. Uh, but this is more of that chapter book um, than, a, than a graphic novel in that same way. This is the story of Max, who in the first book is coming out of being homeschooled for seven years. He is hoping that his transition into the public school system is going to be just fine. And in fact, he's even had dreams about being this kind of superhero, right? That he comes into middle school life and that coming from homeschool into uh, the regular school system is going to be a breeze. 
Unfortunately for him, um, one of the bullies at school, in fact, like the bully, Doug the Thug, seems to find uh, Max uh, a great victim. And so Doug the Thug traps Max in his locker almost immediately. And Max, luckily, with the help of a, of a friend, gets free <laughs> from the locker uh, pretty quickly. But the next time that Thug strikes, it's after everybody's left for a three-day weekend. And Max figures he is now stuck in this locker for who even knows, right? Until Monday. Um, luckily, after a few hours of pretty uncomfortable conditions, Max does escape through the back of the locker. He crawls through some ductwork and actually saves the day. Um, comes across some criminal activity and um, stops it. So he ends up having an adventure kind of by mistake, by accident, um, but, but manages to, to be a hero of, a, of sorts. This is the first book in a series, and it's um, just a great series, again, for those who are Diary of a Wimpy Kid fans. Um, love those humorous books that have the illustrations to go along with it. Find out how it goes for Max in this terrific series by Russell. Uh, speaking of series, and if you are more of a graphic novel reader as well, this is the Bad Guys series by Aaron Blaby, and uh, this is episode one. This first book, we've got the, the series in the library. This is a, about a bunch of characters who have tried to be bad, but are really bad at it, and so they end up kind of accidentally being good. Mr. Wolf, Mr. Piranha, Mr. Snake, and Mr. Shark. They uh, look like bad guys, they sound like bad guys, they even smell like bad guys, but unfortunately they just can't help themselves. They end up doing good things. Their first mission in this book is they're going to free about 200 dogs from this dog pound, and uh, it's going to go completely right <laughs> um, in all kinds of wrong ways. So it's hilarious. Um, once again, you know, great illustrations, fun characters, funny things. And I love the idea that these guys really want to try and do the wrong thing and they can't help themselves. They just keep doing things right. <laughs> great stuff. Dovey Co, totally different tone here. Uh, Francis O'Rourke Dowell, Dowell, excuse me. Um, what a great idea for a story though. I wanted to put the first, uh, one of the first sentences up here on the, the screen. She is quoted as saying, I hated Parnell Carraway as much as the next person, but I didn't kill him. So Dovey is on trial in this story. She is um, on, mur on murder trial. She's uh, supposedly the last person to have seen Parnell alive because when Parnell Caraway, this awful guy, this mean, snobby guy who evidently everybody in town disliked, um, but she disliked the most. Uh, he's found out, found dead, and Dovey is in the room where his body is discovered. It makes her look pretty darn guilty. And Dovey is known for saying what's on her mind, so it's no secret that she can't stand him. She has made that abundantly clear. Uh, she has said it so much, especially because uh, Parnell, before dying, was dating her sister Caroline, and he also treated her brother Amos really badly. And so Dovey is an outspoken girl. She has said over and over and over to whoever would listen that Parnell's this awful guy, and she's made that really, really clear. Well, now Parnell's dead. Dovey was found with his dead body. Things look bad, but Dovey is absolutely 100% saying she didn't do it. And she is on trial trying to prove that she didn't. You've got to read this mystery to find out, did she or didn't she? Can you believe her or not? Loved this book, and you will too. Back to something on a lighter note. The I Funny series by James Patterson. Uh, this story is about a kid who wants to be a stand-up comedian. Um, what a fun premise for a book. A middle schooler, he wants to make a living making people laugh. Um, so many of you would be great at that too. He is new in town though. He's stuck living with his aunt and uncle and uh, a cousin who is 
just a jerk of a guy, uh, a bully. He um, does not let our main character forget that he's in a wheelchair. Jamie, the main character, is in a wheelchair. And um, Steve is the name of the, the cousin, I believe. Uh, Steve is just awful to him. You know, he, he doesn't let Jamie forget he's in a wheelchair and he makes him feel bad about it, even though Jamie does not define himself as being someone who uh, is going to let that stop him in any way. Um, you know, he, he just sees it as part of who he is. Um, Jamie finds out that there is this contest called the Planet's Funniest Kid Comic. He decides he's going to enter, but he starts to second guess himself when his cousin keeps saying, well, gosh, you know, if you win this thing, it's going to be because the judges feel bad for you because you're in a wheelchair. Um, Jamie doesn't really believe that, but, you know, the more his cousin says it, the more he starts to question himself. Is it going to be because I'm funny or are they going to feel bad for me? Um, read this story. Find out how it goes. Um, love that this character is trying what I would imagine would be such a hard thing to do, and that is to try to be funny up on stage. You know, can you get your jokes to land or not? And this is part of a series by Patterson. One last one, um, a graphic novel uh, here by, uh, by um, Brandon Terrell. Um, this story is a story of a kid who loves to be a part of a team, but also because he's really just sitting on the bench most of the time. Um, he's the backup. Uh, quarterback for the team for the Hawks and uh, Ben is happy to just hang out with his teammates on the sidelines right get in there and practice do what he needs to do but he also doesn't have all the pressure of the team kind of relying on him that is until the star quarterback Wes gets suspended because Wes's grades are tanking and all of a sudden Ben is being uh, asked to play all the time right has to be out on the field um, you know for, for everything. Well, suddenly with Ben kind of in charge of the, the team's playing and, and the team not doing so well, his teammates are suddenly um, putting a lot of pressure on him and the blame is falling to him. And Ben doesn't necessarily like how that feels. Find out how the Hawks do uh, out on the field, both, both on and off the field, actually. Find out how it feels for, for Ben, um, a player who's used to sitting on the sidelines and now getting um, all this time on the field and having to deal with that pressure. Quarterback scramble, again, graphic novel story, um, which is kind of a, a neat, a neat one here. Um, give this one a shot. To end my book talk today, wanted to announce that our uh, book fair is going to be available online this fall through uh, Monday, November 16th, all the way up until the 29th of the month. And though it isn't going to be in person, I'm excited that we can offer it, um, you know, a, as a, a distance option because you can visit our library homepage. There is a link to the book fair. There's even a link for you to watch videos and book trailers. And I'll be putting some of that out on Schoology in the next couple of days as well. If you make any purchases, those do support our school directly. We really appreciate that because it means that we can um, provide more materials in our library, more books back to you. Even if you're not making purchases, let me know what books look good so that I know what we should add to our library. That's super helpful as well. I wanted to end by showing a couple quick book trailers from this fall's book fair, just to get you thinking about what's going to be there. So let's take a look at, um, let's see, I wanted to show you this one because this looks fantastic. Get ready for two new I Survive books based on terrifying true events in history. Josh is on a family trip to Northern California when he finds himself in the middle of the deadliest wildfire season in 100 years. He and his cousin Holly are suddenly trapped in a fast-moving firestorm that's destroying everything in its path. Smoke burns their lungs and embers burn their skin. They must find a way to escape the blazing forest in I Survived the California Wildfires 2018. And another favorite I Survived book is now a thrilling graphic novel. A killer shark has been terrorizing swimmers along the New Jersey shore. Chet feels safe in his small town, far from the ocean, until one day 
when he comes face to face with a shark in the local creek. Will Chet and his friends survive the swim? Find out in the graphic novel adaptation of I Survived the Shark Attacks of 1916. Look for them at your Scholastic Book Fair. I love the I Survived books, and I especially love that they're starting to move some of them into graphic novel forms, too. How fun. Also, a new Babysitter's Club book coming out. We're the Babysitter's Club. Calls if you need us. Bye. Oh, my God. Good afternoon, Babysitter's Club. You are learning about yourselves and the way you want to be in the world. Oh, I started the Babysitter's Club to take care of kids. But we were more than a club. We were best friends. So just a couple to get you thinking. And uh, again, if you want to visit the Library Media Center homepage, there are links to both uh, the book fair that'll be opening starting the 16th, as well as a promo video if you want to watch that to find out about more great books. Please reach out on Schoology or email if you have any questions about anything. And in the meantime, happy reading.